G'day, my name's Lindsay and I'm here with uh, Leslie Ford Toy and we're, uh, Leslie's a producer on the Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, how long roughly did the um, development take on um, Assassin's Creed Unity? So, so far it's been about four years. Um, the core team from Brotherhood actually was given a mandate to create, you know, the next gen of Assassin's Creed. So they started back around 2010. Wow, that's, that's such a long time. So, uh, has it been hard? Is it um, is it hard to work on such a long project and not had a um, like a, an audience's perspective or um, opinion on it? Like to finally release it now, what's it been like? Well, I can't speak for the core team. I myself have only been on it for a year and a half. But for sure, um, you know, when you've been working on something for a really long time, you you sort of develop a bit of myopia. So it's really fantastic to come to E3 and get the kind of feedback that we're getting, and it really helps a lot. Well, wow, that's really cool. Uh, something that uh, I would love to know is uh, what's what's the progression like from the the last Assassin's Creed? So uh, with pirates and uh, the Black Flag, uh, what's how how is the new Assassin's Creed any different? So the new Assassin's Creed is built exclusively for next gen. Yep. So we're coming out on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Right. And that gave us the opportunity to really start from scratch wow. and kind of go back to, you know, what is a next gen Assassin's Creed? So, you know, we kind of looked at the three game pillars, uh, navigation, stealth, and combat, and we've made all those things uh, a lot more deeper and giving players a lot more choices. We've also revamped everything for online. So now you can play with That's four cool. friends, yeah. Cool. And it's all in this seamless open world of Paris. You know, you can play um, single player, co-op, side missions. You can go uh, seamlessly from interiors to exteriors, underground. So it's really like this great big open world of Paris during the French Revolution. Something I really loved was uh, coming out uh, when he sort of comes around a corner and there's just a giant crowd of people. And uh, one of the developers was talking about how it's something like 2,000 2, characters can be on a screen at any time. Um, that's incredible. Can you tell us uh, any more improvements in that sort of sense, technology-wise? Yeah, so I mean, we really, really wanted to fill the city and make it a living and breathing world. So the crowds are systemic, you know. Uh, during the French Revolution, there were all these rival factions. So that's actually going to happen while you're there. So you're going to be walking through the city of Paris and, you know, these people are going to be fighting, these factions are going to be fighting in the background. You can choose to intercept and join in if you want, or you can kind of, you know, I want to stay safe, I'm just going to like sneak around these guys and not get involved. Yeah, that's similar to my game style, I like to hide and, and take them out systematically one by one. But um, oh wow, that's really cool, I'm super pumped to play that game and um, I'm looking forward to it. It's, got, it's nice to meet you. Great, it's really great to meet you too and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much.